Hello wonderful people, welcome back to this wonderful channel, the Info News TV, where we will bring you nothing but the top and the truth of the news. Yes, recently an ongoing intensifying and um, protest push of arrest of the president elect Bola Ahmed Tinubu has continued. Many people has been pushing that the president elect Bola Ahmed Tinubu be arrested because he has been indicted of drug crime. The news surfaced the other time that in in the US he has a case to answer of about 300 something thousand dollars case of heroin that he has to answer and someone posted this thing on social media this thing uh, trended on twitter and of course you know that these things are not just fake news but they are real news but the thing is that um it's yet to be clarified what actually happened you know that concerns Tinubu and this 300 and something thousand dollars of course you know that this is a long time ago and you know the worth of 300 and something thousand dollars at as of that time and also it has been revealed that the president elect Bola Ahmed Tinubu has a dual citizenship he has a citizenship uh he's a, has a citizenship uh, uh this thing in uh in guinea and of course you know that if you talk about the record of drug trafficking into you will know that guinea is one of the you know dreaded most dreaded place when it comes to drug trafficking and this is where the president elect has his citizenship in all countries of the world that is where he chose to have a citizenship and the the protest has been ongoing it has been ongoing for some time now that the president elect should be arrested that they, he should not be allowed to step into that office now the question if it is actually true that the president elect bola Ahmed tunubu is a drug lord what do you think that will happen to nigeria what do you think that is going to happen to nigeria if this man ends up entering into the office what will be the fate of nigerians what are the nigerian you know the citizens of nigeria are going to pass through now let's go down to this news now niger reports reported that dino malaye and the pdp are seeking an order of mandamus to compel the ndla to arrest and prosecute tinubu over the alleged forfeiture of funds in his bank account in the united states over two decades ago so this thing happened uh, 20 years ago or thereabout and Dino Malaya and his men are pushing to get an order of mandamus to compel the NDLA to arrest the president-elect and of course you know that if the president-elect should be arrested I think it is now that he has not been he has not been you know inaugurated into the office I think the court and the NDLA still have the right to arrest him now but if May 29 comes and this man assumes office, what do you think that will happen? Do you know that it is not even going to be easy for him to be arrested in this case. Now, the NDLA in its notice of preliminary objection signed and filed at the federal court in Abuja on Wednesday, April 26, 2023 by its director of prosecution and legal service, Joseph Sunday, submitted that the application by the PDP and Malaye as first and second applicant was incompetent. The anti-narcotics agency added that the court lacked the jurisdiction to entertain it and a source should be struck out. The NDLA claimed neither PDP nor Dino Malaye had the legal right to institute the suit. The agency said the only underlying specific interest of the first applicant then becomes political. According to the NDLA, the investigation and prosecution of Tinubu were targeted at removing him as a bona fide candidate in the presidential election. The agency argued that an order of mandamus was an equitable remedy 
and should only be applied in good faith and should not produce an indirect or underlining result. Of course, you see what the NDLA are doing now. They have brought logic into this matter. Logic has entered into this matter. This, this matter has become as a result of logic. Look at the statement, the argument, the argument of the NDLA why this uh, suit should be struck out, that this suit does not have any ground as long as NDLA is concerned and also as long as the president-elect is concerned. They say this suit does not have any ground. Now look at their argument. They say the agency argued that an order of mandamus was an equitable remedy and should not be only a and should be only applied in good faith and should not produce an indirect or underlining result. They say that, look at, let me read, just pay attention to this statement. He said, the agency argued that an order of mandamus was an equitable remedy and should only be applied in good faith. Now, what they are saying, they are stand now, they, on the ground on which they are saying this is that this order of, this order of mandamus was not applied in good faith. I don't know if you are getting the point now. That it is now, it is a, a, as a result of indirect and underlying result. Now, if this order of mandamus was not applied in good faith, is this not to protect the, the interest of Nigerian citizens that a drug lord or so to say is coming into office and nobody is doing anything about it? I don't know if you are getting the point. If you are actually getting the argument and also what the N NDLA are standing for. Now, it said, the doctrine of judicial self-restraint preludes this honorable court from the delving into matters with political coloration or matters aimed at getting direct or indirect political goals. So now, what the NDLA is saying is that the, the suit against the president-elect is as a result of getting a, a, a direct or indirect political goals. So which means that the court or they themselves, the NDLA, does not involve themselves in political matter. But this political matter is what brings in the leadership of the nation. Without these political matters or these political procedures, a president, a governor, or any government presenter will not come into office. Now, why will the court on the LDLA not delve into these matters when there is a critical, when there is a critical uh, 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 information or critical evidence? The evidence is very open. The evidence is clear. And the Bola Ahmed Tinubu, the president-elect, has not denied this evidence. Of course, he said yes, he, he forfeited some money in his account, but it was not direct to him because it was as a result of the source of the money. Maybe the money was not owned by him, that the money does not belong to him. I think, according to him, that the money belongs to someone. But the money that he forfeited was a proceed of narcotics. And the, 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 the NDLA on themselves are saying that, uh, that they do not delve or the court also should not delve into matters that concern politics, whether direct or indirectly. Forgetting that these pro procedures are the procedures by which these uh, governmental prostitutes, governmental officials come into office and they are coming to exercise power even over the court over the, over, and over the NDLA themselves. Now, why will you not make hay while the sun shine? I don't know if you are getting the point and the argument and the logic that is being played in this matter, which is not straightforward. Now, let's go on. In an affidavit in support of the agency's preliminary objection, a litigation officer attached his directorate of prosecution and legal service, Chan Depun, said that as an independent agency of government saddled with the responsibility to investigate, arrest, and prosecute persons involved in drug, drug trafficking and other related offenses in Nigeria. The NDLA had a healthy relationship with the government of the United States of America. He stated further that the name of Bola Tinubu by whatever acronyms or combination of names had never featured in the exchange it had with the U.S., so what they are saying is that the U.S. has never submitted such a matter to them that they have 
a good relationship with the United States that such case has not been submitted to them before. Depun further claimed that the name of Tinubu had also not featured in the radar and database of the agency as a person arrested, investigated, or prosecuted in connection with drug or other related offenses. The agency noted that though it relied on intelligence and information from foreign and domestic partners as well as public spirited individuals, PDP and Malaya had never, since the establishment of the agency in 1990, made any complaints on Tinubu relating to illicit activities on drug matters until January 17, 2023. Do you see the argument of the do you see the argument of the NDLA that such a matter has not been reported to them before and therefore they will not delve into such matter? Let me wind down the curtain here. Still remember that you are still on the Info News TV. If this is the first time of you joining us on this channel, please go ahead to hit the subscription button, the like button, the share button, and also remember to on your notification button so that whenever our news drop, you will be the first to collect it. Please try and share this news to everyone. We love you on this channel. Thank you for listening.